Okay, um, well, I got two screens here, so if I look both ways, then uh, that's why. Um, uh, I got, um, I'm, uh, reading some questions that uh, some people asked about the uh, animation stuff, so uh, here's, here's some of the questions. These are the questions. Sorry, they're a little late. Hope that's okay. Um, how do you, you feel fitting into the life of a non Amish? Was it hard? Yeah, you could say that. Uh, it's not. <laughs> as a, I did an interview with uh, with Joe Kime, and it's on here on YouTube. If you look it up, he I asked him because he he's a he helps other Amish people uh, when they leave, and I asked him how how long does it usually take for a person to to uh, assimilate, so to speak, into into uh, the their new culture once they leave the Amish, and he said about three years, uh, and I I have no reason to doubt him on that because he has a lot of experience in helping people uh, with that that kind of stuff. I'll, I'll link to the another video in the bottom, but but that is that is a it's a very uh, good point that uh, it takes a it takes a long time to. I mean, I could you could probably say the same thing about uh, um, Mexicans or any other going into another culture just. Just going to another culture is probably going to be hard, no matter what what your culture you came from. Um, what's the reason you left the Amish? Um, that's kind of a long story, but it um, uh, has to do with uh, with uh, roles and and also my uncle and how he treated uh, my family so um, anyway um, I have a video where I kind of tell that story but it, it's kind of long and and it's not the best video uh, to be honest but um, it kind of I kind of discussed that on, on that um, the why I left the Amish video um, did you ever miss being an Amish? Um, somewhat, I guess. Uh, I do miss their cooking, and I do miss my parents and a couple of my sisters. I guess I I do miss them. Uh, did you ever regret leaving? I don't think I would say I regret leaving. I I. Uh, love my, my life the way I have it although recently I've been having some severe depression uh, but that's not really related to the to this cause but related to my family situation so that's that's a completely different story but anyway when did you leave the Amish uh, when I turned it well actually to be honest I, I left First time when I was 13, next time I was, uh, but I, first time I was on the gone for like three days, I couldn't get a job because I was only 13 years old. And the second time was when I was 16 and I stayed at my mom's second cousin, a Mennonite, retired Mennonite preacher. For a couple months, and then I returned home, and then I left again in 1998, and uh, well over 13 years ago, and when I was 18. Uh, what was your family's response to choosing to leave the Amish? Well, obviously my mom did not like that. I was the youngest uh, of. Uh, 11 children um, for me that was 
the fact that uh, a few of my other siblings have already left, uh, including my oldest brother, who is uh, who's 18 years older than me, and and a couple others, you know, my one of my older brothers and three other sisters. Uh, another one passed away when I was uh, a couple years old. I had two, two and a half. Hope you had half the time to answer them would make our project much better. Uh, I hope so, and uh, I hope uh, uh, you get a what whatever you're doing. That hope that uh, comes out great and share share results with us. Um, let's see. There's a message here from uh, somebody sent me a a link to some uh, somebody talking that Mennonite, but it supposedly sounds like he's he's trying to talk Amish uh, or you know source and trooper Amish or uh, that's what he does you would say <laughs> and uh, and I uh, was not uh, sure I could ever understand everything he was saying but but uh, but I kind of enjoyed listening to him because he sounded uh, um, not kind of interesting. Uh, now here's another message that I got. Hello, Joseph. What's that's my hello, Joseph. That's my dad's name. I have a very small idea of Amish theology, but I was raised a independent fundamentalist Baptist, and I've always felt my Amish way of life minus the theology is much better than modern Americans. I can agree with that. Um, the theology is, I guess, the, the hard part about it. And in fact, there are Christian um, um, uh, there are Christian Amish that I, I would uh, support more than, than uh, some of the like the ones that I came from anyway. My question is do you know of any uh, people outside the Amish community who was able to join? Uh, who were able to join? Uh, do you have certain requirements? Do they, do they have certain requirements to join? I know from your experience it's been a very long time, but maybe some of your friends who already left the Amish maybe have that information. I don't feel like I would need to join the Amish to, to worship God, but that I would be able to improve my life and my relationship with the Lord. I have another question. If you were to die today, we 100% sure that you would go to heaven. I do, yes. Now, the Amish that I came from um, they don't believe in that. They believe in uh, in a hope that they're going to heaven. Now, to answer your other question about uh, about going Amish, I don't know anybody that uh, that uh, uh, well. I, I know a few people, off a few people that have joined and later left. But so far, everybody that I know of that uh, joined the Amish, with the exception of, of Warren Fussner, he uh, he's still Amish. But uh, everybody else that I know of that joined the Amish has left since then. But um, um. Anyway, there are some uh, groups on on Yahoo groups that I used to talk to that were were uh, they called themselves Amish Seekers. They were they were 
seeking to join the Amish and so you could check out Yahoo groups if you're wanting to join the Amish so go ahead and, and check that out um, and uh, good luck with that Joshua thank you